the noble way of living. We have a very special guest for you today, Whole Food Chef Valerie Wilson, or Macro Val. She's the author of Perceptions in Healthy Cooking. The Macro and Macro Val is short for Macrobiotics, which is the dedication to living in harmony with the universe by balancing both the yin and yang energy. In relation to food, this is a plant-based diet, a healthy and balanced way of eating seasonal and locally grown whole grains, fruits, beans, and vegetables. So Valerie, what will you be cooking for us today? Today I will be making for you a wild rice pilaf featuring brown rice, which has a delicious sweet flavor, wild rice, which has the savory flavor, and the two of them will complement each other. And I'm also going to be using shiitake mushrooms, which have a pungent, earthy flavor. Next I will be making a millet tempeh loaf, featuring millet, which has an excellent creamy texture. I'll be using some rolled oats, and also some walnuts, and we'll be using tempeh, which is an excellent protein food. Wow, sounds delicious. I can't wait. Yeah, so let's get cooking. We'll start today by making a wild rice pilaf. And for this recipe, you're, we're using one and a half cups of brown rice. Put it in a bowl like this. Just take some water. Kind of swish it around like so. Okay, and what you're doing is you're trying to get any dust that might have accumulated on the rice when it was sitting in the bin or anything like that. Most of the time your rice really isn't going to be that dirty. See, the water isn't really that dirty, but basically that's good enough. And then we're going to take wild rice, which I have three-fourths of a cup of wild rice, and we'll just do the same thing to the wild rice. For this recipe, I'm using short grain brown rice. I like the short grain brown rice the most because it has the sweetest flavor and it also has the most minerals, being that it's short grain, it's more compact. So I like using the short grain brown rice. Now your brown rice is where you find your fiber. It's very high in fiber, so it's really good for you. Um, brown rice feeds and nurtures your lungs and your large intestines. It acts like a broom and just sweeps out your, long, your large intestines, okay, which is really good for your digestion. Once you've washed the rice, then I'm going to put the rice in a bowl like this. Wild rice is actually a uh, native food from here in America. They've been growing it for a long, long time here in America. It was a staple of the Native Americans that lived here. Wild rice is high in B vitamins and now B vitamins are what you need so that your body can deal with stress because when you get really stressed out you get depleted of the B vitamins so it's really good to have the wild rice which have the B vitamins in it. What I got here is a, another ingredient that we're adding to the wild rice pilaf. It is shiitake mushrooms. I prefer to cook with the dried shiitake mushrooms. Why? Because they're more flavorful and they're more medicinal. Whenever you take a food and you dry it, you enhance the flavor of it and you also enhance the medicinal properties of it. And shiitake mushrooms are very, very medicinal. They contain a wide variety of the B vitamins, including vitamin B12. They also contain vitamin D. And they also contain a particular substance that helps break down fat, cysts, and tumors that might be in your system. So they're very, very strong and very medicinal. So you only need a few in your recipe. So for this recipe we have four, that's all. What I like to do is take the dried shiitake mushroom and soak them in the water like this. That reconstitutes the shiitake mushroom, but it also gives you this delicious, flavorful water. And now you use this water as part of the water that you're going to cook your brown rice in. So for this recipe, we need four cups of water to cook the brown rice in. And we have three here plus this. Add the water to the brown rice. Now when you work with the shiitake mushrooms, 
they need to cook for about 15 minutes so that they become soft and they're palatable for you. So I put them right in here with the rice, just like that. Okay, and then I'm just going to cook the rice and the shiitakes all together. And then one last ingredient is tamari. So this is a healthy version of soy sauce. Okay, it's made from naturally fermented soybeans, which have enzymes and amino acids. But what it does is it imparts this rich, delicious flavor into the rice. So we put that in there to cook with the rice and the shiitakes. And now what we do is we take the rice back here, put it on the burner, and bring it to an open boil. An open boil means that you're boiling the rice with the lid off, and what that does is that opens up the kernel of the rice to make the rice more digestible, and actually makes the rice more flavorful and actually sweeter to the taste. And then after you've boiled it for three or four minutes, then what you do is you put it on a burner at the lowest possible setting that you have and you simmer it for one hour and all the water will be absorbed by the rice. So this rice is going to take approximately an hour to cook. started in this particular way of cooking is about 15 years ago I read this incredible book by Dirk Benedict who was a TV star in the 80s and the book was all about his journey about how he healed himself from prostate cancer by changing his diet. When I read this book a light bulb went off and I just thought this is the way we're supposed to be living, this is the way we're supposed to be eating. So from there I started to slowly change my diet and then I went to a cooking school and I apprenticed there for a couple years to learn this particular type of healthy cooking. I have been personal chefing for a while and I also have been teaching the cooking classes for over 11 years and I wrote my cookbook, Perceptions in Healthy Cooking, about five years ago. We are going to continue making the wild rice pilaf. What I have going right now, back here in the fry pan, I already started sauteing the onions. As before, I'm using toasted sesame oil and tamari, and I'm just going to saute the onions for a couple minutes till they start to get soft. Meanwhile, let me show you how to dice a carrot. Remember, always have a wet cutting surface. I'm going to take the carrot, and I always cut off the very ends, because they're usually dried out. And you notice that I've left the skin on the carrot too. I think organic produce is very important. Flavor-wise, it's sweeter, it's more delicious, but also you don't want to have all those pesticides and chemicals and all that other stuff in your food. How I diced the carrot was I just cut it in slits, and now I'm just cutting it into little cubes like this. Carrot is going to add a delicious sweetness to our wild rice pilaf that we have going here. And then we also have some celery going into this dish. And of course, celery tastes really good in any type of pilaf or stuffing recipe that you're doing. And it gives it a nice crunch, too. You just cut it in slits, like so. And then straight up and down, just like this. By the way, it is one whole onion dice that we're using. We're using two carrots and two celery stalks. The way I like to saute the vegetables, I'm just going to push the onions aside. See how I have a clean surface in the middle now? And I'll put the carrots in the middle, like so, and continue sauteing until the carrots start to brown. I'll add a little more tamari, because you want to make sure that all the vegetables have flavoring with them. If you remember when we cooked the brown rice, we cooked the brown rice with the shiitake mushrooms. 
they basically just sat on top of the rice when the rice was done. So what I did was I removed them so they could cool a little bit so I wouldn't end up burning my fingers. This is what they look like now. We need to cut the mushrooms so that we can saute them. I like to cut my shiitake mushrooms in long strips like this. And I cut around the stem. The reason being is that the stem is very hard. So if you wanted to use the stem, you would probably have to cook it for about two hours. And so if you are making a soup or something like that, go ahead and include the stem. Let's check on the carrots here. Doing good. The brown rice, as I said, has cooked for one hour. All the water has been absorbed. And this is what it looks like. The brown rice, the wild rice, the tamari, and then of course the mushroom stock that was in there that made it so flavorful. I'm going to go ahead and add the celery to the saute pan, just like I did with the carrots. When you create a pilaf like this, the reason why you saute the vegetables before you actually put them into the main dish, number one, bring out the flavor of the vegetables, but it also makes it more palatable. It's not very nice to, you know, be eating a wild rice pilaf and you come across, you know, raw carrot or raw celery. I have a nice big bowl and we're going to mix everything together once it has sauteed. So first we put the wild rice and brown rice in there. We have rosemary and thyme. That's going to go in there. I'm going to put the mushrooms into the saute pan. Keep everything going here in the saute pan. I will be sauteing a little bit of minced garlic. And remember, minced garlic, you only want to saute for about a minute. Otherwise, it, you run the risk that it might become bitter. This is the last thing that's going in the saute pan. And all these vegetables are going to cook for about two minutes. Once the vegetables have all cooked, then you can actually stir them all together like this. And then let them cook just for another minute like this, all stirred together. The vegetables have sauteed, and this is what they look like. Now we're going to add them to the big bowl. Just like this. Make sure you get all those delicious bits in there. Mix it all together. And this, of course, tastes delicious the day you make it. But sometimes the next day tastes even better, especially served with the gravy that we're going to serve it with. Pour it into a casserole dish. And then this goes into the oven, 350 degrees, for about 20 minutes. Something you can add to the wild rice pilaf to make it even more flavorful is some minced parsley. I like to just put it on the top and just kind of mix it in like this. It gives it a nice flavor and a beautiful color too. And then just continue cooking it in the oven. Tomorrow on Vegetarianism, the Noble Way of Living, Chef Valerie, or Macro Val Wilson, will return to show us how to make the millet tempe loaf and a vegan gravy that will perfectly dress our two dishes. And of course, we'll get to taste these culinary creations. Coming up now is Between Master and Disciples, here on Supreme Master Television. Remember to smile, take care, and we'll see you again soon. For more information about macrobiotic foods and Chef Valerie Wilson's recipes, books, and DVDs, please visit macroval.com.
For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash veg.